Hi, we are going to talk about aspect, tense, and mood. We hope you enjoy this video. Aspect is a grammatical category that indicates time-related characteristics. There are two types of aspect, the perfect and the progressive. The perfect aspect describes events occurring in the past but linked to a later time. It's formed with has, have, or had, plus the past participle. The progressive aspect usually describes an event that takes place during a limited time period. It's made up of the forms of be, plus the ing form of the main verb. Tenses show the time of an action. Present tenses. Simple present for facts, habits, and daily routine. Verb plus s with he, she, it. For example, she runs every day. And we only use verb with i, u, we, and they. For example, they have a car. Present continues, something that is happening right now. We use subject plus present participle. For example, he is reading now. Present perfect, something which you were doing in the past and have you finished in the present. We use subject plus past participle. For example, you have eaten pizza today. Present perfect continues, action that starts in the past but is still continuing now. Subject plus present participle. For example, you have been working on it. Past tenses, simple past, something which has finished. We use the verb in past form. For example, we woke up very early. Past continuous, action that was happening in the past. We use subject plus was or were and present participle. For example, we were student Matt when he called. Past perfect, two actions at two different times, one of they complete before the second occurs. We use had and past participle. For example, before I came here, I had spoken to Jack. Past perfect continuous. Action start in the past and continued before another action. We use subject plus have been and present participle. For example, I have been playing tennis when she came. Future tenses. Simple future. Something which will happen in the future. We use will for prediction and willingness and going to for prediction and prior plan. For example, I will marry you and we are going to Disneyland. Future continues. Action in progress in the future. We can use will be or going to be plus present participle. For example, he will be studying at the library tonight and tonight at 6 p.m. I am going to be eating dinner. Future perfect. Action that will be complete in the future. We can use will have or going to have plus past participle. For example, you will have finished by the time I am ready or you are not going to have finished by the time I am ready. Future perfect continuous. Action started in the future and continued before another action. We can use will have been or going to have been plus present participle. For example, they will have been traveling for one hour when you arrive or she is going to have been working at that company for three years when it finally closes. Mood is a verb category or form which indicates whether the verb expresses a fact, a comment, a question, a condition, or a possibility. Indicative mood is used to express a statement of fact. For example, Charlie read that book in less than a day. The verb will express some sort of action as a statement of fact. Imperative mood. It's used to order or ask someone to do something or to give instructions. For example, move that book. The verb will express a direct call of action. Interrogative mood. It's used to ask questions. For example, did you bake a pie? These are formed by adding an auxiliary verb to another verb. The auxiliary verb will often come before the subject of the sentence. Conditional mood. It's used to refer to situations that are uncertain or that depend on something else happening. For example, we would live in Spain if we had the money. Subjunctive mood. It's used to express unreal situations, possibilities, and wishes. For example, if I were rich, 
I will buy a sport car.